Hello, today we are meeting Juscelino Luz, a clairvoyant from Brazil who came to Warsaw and we would like to talk about a few very interesting things. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, you came from Brazil and uh, you have this special skill which is very rare uh, among people. Uh, so, uh, first of all, please uh, tell us uh, how it come that you have this skill. Well, the first uh, the first time it was in 1969 when I was a child, nine years old, mm -hmm. and some night, and it comes at night the dreams, um, one dreams a specific one, and. In that time, I didn't recognize that it was something very uh, detailed. Um, mm -hmm. For me, it was I uh, scared at that moment because I didn't uh, have this any time in my life. So I described it and put it in a letter. But in that time, I I was started to 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 have it. Right now, mm -hmm. I, you were nine years. Yeah, old. nine years. So I described all the things, and we sent, went to the place to. I asked to my mama to take that place because I received and identify uh, the the place, mm -hmm. the address, complete, full, and also the full name of the person that who, family that will be involved in mm -hmm. this these things. Yes, and then. We look for them and deliver the message, and four years later, the thing is, has happened. The accident. The accident, yes, the one crash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunate for us was a little bit sad because uh, that's impacted me and myself, but the, the, and also my family because uh, they didn't understand in that time this situation, but the, when come to you. Mm -hmm. um, was very scared for the family, and they take me for the doctors, for some uh, uh, Catholic church or something mm -hmm. that to talk with many many persons, uh, people and uh, specialists. But the expert that he told me was a para parapsychologist mm -hmm. that he told me the the, the thing is what I had is. Uh, uh, dreams, uh, premonitory dreams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it happened four years, uh, four years before it happened, you knew it. So uh, now from um, your experience of 50, over 50 years of experience, uh, please tell me how the timelines work that you can look into the future, how it works. Yeah, people confuse myself with it. many people call me as of uh, clairvoyant, uh, mm -hmm. something like that. But I am the person that received this. I stayed in this, and uh, the body was not moving, and mm -hmm. so the ghost, like a ghost, you see, like mm -hmm. a, a travel, you know, astral travel. Mm -hmm. And I go to the place, identify the situation there. This is the line. Uh, I identify the situation. It's not uh, for me. It's not important the language because I understand every language when I go to this, mm -hmm. and when I am uh, in the deep sleep, I go to this area, and I have uh, one until nine dreams at night. Okay. One day we call six days a week. One day um, I don't have any dreams, okay. but it's difficult. Um, when I go to, to the place, I identify the situation, let's suppose, like a World Trade Center, I was inside the airplane, inside the building, inside the water plane, and they feel that sensation because when they crash, mm -hmm. and then return. When I have more than one dream, I go to the water trip before to return back to the body. Mm -hmm. And this, I transform it in letters. I can write it at the same day, depend on the situation, or I can take a, at least 90 days or 120 days with this in my mind. Okay, so if you have like six dreams per night, you remember all of them? All of them with the daylights. All the, all the dreams are not too ordinary. Mm -hmm. uh, they, can, they come all the time. With the address for those 
I must write to, mm -hmm. and also the full name. If it's authorities, it comes the name. Yeah. If it's the ordinary people, mm -hmm. uh, normal, uh, it comes also the name, full name to write down. Mm -hmm. So uh, I never heard about uh, this kind of uh, skill that someone can uh, read also the precise name. Yeah, yeah. If the precise name comes uh, since I was nine years old, mm -hmm. and also. 85% uh, is uh, with the common people, mm -hmm. and 50%, 15% yes. percent is of uh, things that is turning out uh, to farmers ones involved, mm -hmm. or some authorities, or some disasters, very big disasters that uh, unfortunately come to Rio. Um, most people understand that of 100,000 letters that I sent, 70% has happened or come to Rio, mm -hmm. came to Rio. Yes. So it means that someone, some entity tells you all the details. Yes, it's come from the high universe, I believe, uh, from the God, because make it goodness for people. Try to avoid something and also to change it, transform it mm -hmm. in goodness or mm -hmm. to protect people. Okay. Uh, in quantum physics, uh, there is a, a rule that when the observer observes something, by only observing, he changes it. If you tell someone what would happen in the future and this person knows it, by only knowing this, he can change it. Yeah. That, that's why not 100% happens. Yes, oh, oh, it's good not to 100% happen, but it's necessary to understand that uh, we live in a will, okay? Is a uh, is not depend on uh, the self will will indicate if this will happen or not. Yes. Depend of the the person mm -hmm. that received the message, and he or she can turn it to a goodness mm -hmm. and listen to that or to be involved with is dependent the action that this person will take with the information is inside the letter mm -hmm. and of course my proposal is that it turning it out to positive because there is a transformation of negative to positive yes. and uh, my uh, my I expect everything turn into positive and not happens because people think oh he wants that to happen no no because it's not a game is involving people mm -hmm. is involving human being is involving uh, accident and and something like that like a, a catastrophe but we want to change that mm -hmm. so if someone knows what would happen uh, his consciousness would change it by doing something. Of yeah. course. Before it uh, it's, that is, is important also people to understand. Mm -hmm. is energy. Energy can change. Yes. And people, when is uh, concerned about the situation, they can also change that situation to goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, let's jump into uh, another topic. Mm, chakras. Uh, there are many descriptions of chakras in the human body. Uh, some say that we have the seven main chakras, some say that we have uh, dozens or hundreds of them. How do you perceive them? What well, we have, we have the mainly ones. Mm -hmm. The male is the seven. Mm -hmm. That is, is translated or uh, individually by the colors, you know? Yes. And we have a lot of them also, mm -hmm. besides these mainly ones, mm -hmm. that is seven. And this is divided by the color, by the situation of the people, and when you have the colors to identify your chakras. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the ones that is not good for the people is when it's gray or brown. The others indicate some different situation, of course. Mm -hmm. In normal human language, how would you describe what the chakras are? Are they some kind of uh, um, sources, like water sources, that the energy flows or vortexes uh, going into nowhere, or what are they? 
So the, they are a part of your body. It's important. It's divided by color. Indians, uh, uh, India mm -hmm. people knows this uh, more than 5,000 years. Um, and it's necessary to understand. Uh, the chakras color shows how your situation is in life. It describes very well your life, mm -hmm. emotional, physical, and uh, if you have some ill or not. This is the, the, the condition of chakras. And that was, is necessary some people, when he doesn't be with the chakra in some points, it must be cleaned and must be lined up. Mm -hmm. The osteo part and the dance part is very necessary to the life of people, is identify like Japanese and Chinese uh, condition to identify points of your body mm -hmm. to be very special to you treat yourself well. Okay, uh, and uh, what are the difference in the chakras or in the energetic um, organs uh, in the body between healers who can heal and they have a lot of energy and those who are sick? What is the difference? It, it's necessary first that uh, the, the who treated this. It's necessary to understand the colors and understand also the cells energies inside the points specific that we have inside the body. Then you can go there to treat. You know, mm -hmm. in, in chakras, for example, is div divided in seven uh, seven points that we can have it, mm -hmm. and it's necessary you treat it in a specific condition to get healed for something that is not very good to you, or some emotional or some pathological condition, you know? And it is with the chakras and the knowledge of the colors in also the cells and your body and the points necessary to treat, you can identify the problem and also help people to be healed or to be in good energy, mm -hmm. depending of the situation of the patients has, you know? Okay, so it means that everybody can heal, but everybody needs to know how to do it, yeah? It's necessary, of course, it's necessary you understand better, because the books teach you, like the old scriptures teach you how to treat you. It's necessary to understand also how you treat yourself mm -hmm. or to prepare yourself afterwards. Uh, so now let's jump to the topic of aliens. Uh, we know that there are many civilizations in the solar system who watch Earth and they are also on different planets. Uh, have you uh, had any contact with them before? Did you talk to them or did you watch them somehow? I take a part of uh, one, uh, one of dreams uh, a long time ago, the Virginia. Minas Gerais uh, state in Brazil that I sent the letter it was famous all over the world uh, about this knowledge about this happening and the, it came is to real and the, there is on no, a spaceship that fell down in Virginia Minas Gerais and there there was two bodies that is someone um, the army came and took it for uh, a for the hospital and then to other area that he has one agreement with the United States of America to, and at the time was not uh, allowed to talk about because the armor don't, uh, didn't allow. So this is one specific case. The water that I received with the dreams I was there is in Egypt. Egypt, we have uh, two caves in the gold uh, king's yards, yeah, that you have it meet some somebody will find there, the the researchers will find there two bodies, but the bones only of the structure of the the skeleton of a two um, aliens, mm -hmm. and will be in twenty thirty two uh, that will be discovered this in the the king's yard okay. in Egypt. That's uh, oh, but the contact. We're going to have it mm -hmm. to the planet here will be 24-7 that will spread all over the world and people understand a little bit more about this. 
2047. 2047. Yes, okay. is the date where the contact will be directed. Okay. And uh, how do you perceive uh, the question of reincarnation? Can we uh, reincarnate into the past uh, or into the future and then um, come back? And if I am here, for example, my personality uh, came from uh, the previous life in the in one part or uh, I am just like a, a mixture of other personalities. How, how do you perceive this? Uh, first I tell about this as far as I know, um, I will go to hotel, but uh, first of all I respect all the religions, conceptions, mm -hmm. all the sides, all the understand, the concerns, different ones. But in my opinion, I have to say that we are here in our physical life until the end of this, we go to another part to clean, is a spirit to okay. clean. We stay in a line a long, long time. Some, some people more, some people less. We stay in a line to clean our body first. And people that he has complete here in this planet, the condition of the height universe, they will stay to the paradise as people say. You know, many people in the church and also other religions say the paradise. Yeah. We will go this spirit to there. But many that he has not completed here the, the learning mm -hmm. and he has a little bit more to learn we will return back for reincarnation and this the spirit will come to another body this is my understand okay. however i respect the others so the paradise uh, can be also perceived as uh, enlightenment yeah is enlightenment of course and is an increasement of the, uh, when you uh, is already prepared to go to that part you are a good person in this planet you have complete your mission or some say some people say mission but i say your work here and because we are learning every time so when you complete this and this clean and understand your soul that you are prepared to go to the heaven to that place that you uh, the paradise that you every, everyone want to go um, you can go, but if you didn't complete, you have something that you live here for to complete, then you return back uh, reincarnation in, in some physical, uh, just to complete uh, your learning. Uh -huh. So it means that uh, this person who completed everything comes back to the source and reunites with the whole universe. Yes, it's going to the source and they stay there. Um, the way they say that is very wonderful place, yeah, is a squalid such a way like that. But if it does not complete, the energy will be being back to the planet mm -hmm. to complete the learning that is lacking for this human being or some such a, uh, energy that is not complete at all and has to find some. Uh, physical body and then okay. come in. But can we come back to Earth uh, like before this life or we have to go after this? No, no, just after this life because it is energy is going on, not be back. Uh -huh. The energy is going on. And if energy is going on, it's necessary you go to the future and uh, a specific area that you have to come. Okay, uh, so before you can predict some things, uh, please tell me uh, what would happen, what will happen uh, uh, with the Ukrainian and the Russian war. In my, and also I respect both sides, I, I must remember this because uh, um, the problem of uh, this, these people, these both leadership um, who is ego, Yes. Power. Yes. Understand? Yes. Greed mm -hmm. and money. 
and this is not good for is good for nothing because we no one will take it with it with us with them, mm -hmm. no. But I think it is the the this this conflict that I not call of war but a conflict of interests can go to the direction of uh, next year until July to stop it because uh, there is no reason for this. We live in a world that is necessity is peace, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, I think I'm not accusing and I'm not telling the badness of uh, NATO and the uh, United Nations, but they could be the example, they might be the example, mm -hmm. not to, to feed the war with the, uh, weapons, but call both for a close conversation to solve this problem in perfect way, to harmony and to people live in peace would be very, very good for the world because this moment is not good for the war. It's not good for the conflict that we're going to have in there and we're having there at this moment. I think this hateness is good for nothing, you know? So the one side, the one side is closing their people inside the house, not to go, and it's affecting all the people. People start to be not good because the price is high, life is not is difficult, and increase more problems to the life of the Russian people. And also the other side. I, I respect the man, but besides he comes to the magazine, open the, the, his face to the magazine, and also to take a lot of pictures solve the problem of Ukrainian young people that is dying. It's necessary to stop both. Okay, we know that, uh, but uh, how do you per perceive the result? You said July next year, what, yeah. what would happen? I think that the most important thing to happen is to close it, close up it, is to finish, to end up. It's necessary to stop this because this is not, it, uh, I think it's not good for both parts, you know, and not for the world, yeah, and yeah, not for Poland. We know it, but uh, we can conclude it from ourselves. Normal people can say the same. But uh, did you have any dreams what would happen? I think that uh, July next year will be stop it, um, uh, quit, quick it. Okay, but uh, like... Uh, in the results of this? The result is, is negative for both sides. What is this, what is this positive war? No, no, no. I don't mean negative or positive. I mean what would happen. Like as in some versions, uh, mm, politicians say that uh, Ukraine can be divided into pieces or Russia can uh, split uh, into pieces. It's necessary to understand the moment what the Russian government would like to create a new Soviet Union. This is not good for now because people are free. Some people are free. They don't want more. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have a pro-Russia that would like to be free. They must be free, of yeah. course. And the other side, some people also, Ukraine, would like to be free. This is solution for to solve the problem. And that is what is going to happen. Okay. And uh, in one of the versions of predictions for the future, uh, there is a saying that um, Poland will be from Baltic Sea to the Black Sea, which means uh, uniting Poland and Ukraine. Can you perceive some something like this? I think no? there is no possibility because, mm -hmm. uh, but however, they, uh, the people live in peace, but is there, they are a lot of difference between both, mm -hmm. you know, cultural and many other things. Yes. It's not possible this. I think the best way to live, the Ukraine has this, the place for them, and Poland has the place for yourself here, for the country, okay. you know? Okay, super. That will be good for. Yeah. And uh, now I'd like to show you uh, some uh, symbols and please read the symbols energetically. How do you perceive them? Okay. Okay. Mm. Yes. 
Yes, this is simulation of a, a new, a new gro growth of a military way. You know that he, he would be with the spirituality indeed, but a new creation for the 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 state of a war. You know. So this is uh, you mean negative? No, I don't say negative. It's positive. It's a positive. You know. Okay. Okay. Is one of uh, the age comes for positive condition. Okay. Uh, this is um, about uh, this uh, unification of states for the the freedom of the universe. Mm -hmm. This is another characteristic of the state, Islamic state, to be free and to also create a new situation for the world, you know? Mm -hmm. A new, like a um, triangle in this side, in this position, it has created the world of a new, a new, a new order of the world, you know? Okay, but this is not Islamic symbol. No, 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 I don't say Islamic. I say the condition of Islamic growth. Okay. It's not Islam, but the condition of Islamic growth. Okay. Okay, so we covered all the topics which I had prepared. So for the wrap up, please conclude with some, something for the humanity. Well, I, I think that it's important to remember that we are living in a world that has a lot of challenge for us, you know? And some of them is difficult to face because it's the climate change. But we must believe we must do something good for us and, uh, and think in the world in the new aspect and concern a, a different way to live. And the first thing that we must have in ourselves is the first is to be happy, to believe, mm -hmm. to believe, to be more spiritualized. That is the word we need, you know, and also uh, to be faith. And the last is to be hope, because when you have a hope, you can construct a new way for your children, the future descendants, that can be a part of our world. And this can bring us more peaceful moments and love for the old world and the respect between or among people. That's necessary for us to have a good life and a good, good, good um, world for everyone to, to live in. Super. Thank you, okay. sir, for the knowledge you you're, shared. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.